Hello. The next question you can expect is what are your IAM groups? Now, if you have multiple users, if you have more users, managing the permissions for that users can be difficult. So we can make use of this IAM users to easily manage the permissions for multiple users. So imagine you have 10 users. So instead of uh, managing the permissions at the user level, that is you know, managing these permissions 10 times, we can create a common group and we can start adding these users to the group. So managing these permissions becomes much easier for us. So whenever we create an IAM user, um, it is recommended that we add this user to an IAM group. All right, it could be like let's say a cloud engineer group or a DevOps group or an AWS group. You can create those groups and you can start adding your users to these groups. And these groups will have all the necessary permissions. Now, when we attach the permissions at the group level, it is applicable to all the users who are part of that particular IAM group. So instead of assigning the permissions at the user level, which can be very difficult for us to manage, uh, we can do it at the group level all right so this helps us to easily manage the permissions for all the users that we have in a group and all of this can be done from one single place so simply your im users can be used when you want to manage the permissions for multiple users and uh, you don't want to manage the permissions at the user level we can make use of your im groups for that